All right. Hello. My name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. Fair enough about me. Let's get into this. All right. So today we're going to be talking about operators. You know, this is this is kind of really useful and really powerful at times, you know, because sometimes you might need to use math, sometimes you might need to compare values. So this is actually really useful. You know, you might actually enjoy it. All right. So let's start off. So let's remember that that the one star round, those essentially what those do is that they return a value, you know? So it's not like compared to the, like the ones that like the pointy ends where it's kind of like Boolean. It's either true or a false. This one's more return a value more than anything, you know? So you could technically, you could do math with them, you know? For example, right here, pick a random number from one to 10. So that's just gonna, it's basically just a random number generator. So what that's gonna do, you get to choose a range and then just generate a random number. That's all it is to it, you know? And then you could just like put it into functions, displays, into everything, you know? However you want to. So, you know, for example, you might be like, okay, like I want to have a timer, but I just kind of want it to be random. You could kind of just put it in there, you know? So it's it could be really, you could even put it in here, you know? You could put it in itself and like in other functions that are in here. But, and then the other one, and right here, it's just adding two two numbers together, you know, like one and one. That's gonna return you two, you know. So wherever you implement implement that in, it's just gonna imagine like you put in the number two, like right here, you know. Like if I were to do that and just put it in here, what that would do is that it would wait for two seconds, you know. That's all it is. You could even implement them in themselves, you know. Like if you really wanted to do just super complicated math like that, you know? And then, so you have the option to divide, subtract, multiply, and add. And then that's all, that's all it is for these, you know? You could just, it's just math, you know? So it's really useful at times because sometimes you might need to do math. Sometimes you might need to do some quick calculations to calculate stuff. You're like, okay, this is true, this is not, and then that's it. And then, we have the what I call the booleans. So these return either a true or a false. You know. So for example, if it, this one were to be like like less than a hundred, if it's less than a hundred, it's gonna return a true. If it's not, it's not. It's gonna return a false. This one, the numbers need to be exactly the same. So in order for this to be true, it would have to be a hundred and a hundred. Pretty simple, right? And then if it's anything else, it's gonna be false. If it's 101, it's gonna be false. If it's 199, it's gonna be false. If it's anything but 100, and it needs to be exactly the same on both ends. So remember that. In order for it to be true, like this isn't just 100 is equal to 100, no. This is like, like are they equal to each other, you know? So the, it, sounds, it sounds like I'm saying the same thing, but it's not, it's Boolean. So meaning it's just a true or false. So what this is gonna do, so these return like an actual number, like a five, a 10, whatever. But these return a statement like a true or a false. It's like, hey, it was this true or was this false? You know? And then this one is like greater than 100. So anything that is greater than 100 is gonna be true. Obviously, you know, you could change this to one. So as long as it's greater than one, it's gonna be true. You know? And if it's one, it's not gonna be true. Because it needs to be greater or equal. It needs to be greater than one. So if you were to just put one, it's technically still false because it's not greater than one. It's equal to one. You know? So you're kind of limited in that sense since it doesn't have like greater or equal to and less than or equal to. But, you know, sometimes we've got to work with what we have. <laughs> and then that's pretty much it. And then the and. So this is also Boolean. So, for example, in order for this to be true, both ends need to be true. Like, so it needs to be this and this needs to be true. If they're not both true, then it's not, it's never gonna work. And then, or it's like this or this needs to be true. So as long as you have one that is true, then it's gonna return it true. That's it. It's pretty that simple, you know? It just needs one, it just needs one of them to be true in order for the whole thing to be true. In comparison to and, where they both need to be true or else everything is false. And then not, it's just like, not three, it could be any other number, but not three. But if it's three, it's gonna return false. And if it's like five, 10, 20, 50, one, it's gonna return it true because it's not three, you know? 
it's simple logic, but it could be it could come really useful because for example you might be using the sensor, you're like, okay, I need the distance sensor and the touch sensor to be true in order for it to work. And if they're not true, well I don't want it. You know? So in that sense it is really powerful. Like all of this is really useful. Like you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it because it's gonna it gives you so much options now and you have so much control now. And then that's that's why I believe it's really powerful. So take my advice and use them. Use them. Use them. Because you're not always gonna you know you don't want to write a bunch of code. You know? I've always said the the smaller, more compact and more powerful code you have, the better. Because you don't wanna have this super long, exhausting code, super buggy. No, you wanna have short and powerful code. That, that is powerful in my mind. That means a lot. So if I were you guys, take my advice and use them, use them, you know? Like all of this is just logic, like true or false, Boolean, you know? So use it. All right, uh, well, so now we're gonna move. So this is, this is just like join banana, apple and banana. So what this is gonna do is gonna be apple banana. That's all, you know, it just joins two words together. And then length of apple, so this is just gonna tell the length. So for example, if I were to just put cat, what do you think the length would be? Three, you know? So it just checks how many characters are in there, you know? So it's kind of like an array, you check how many characters are in there. If you guys remember before when I mentioned about lists, you guys go back to that video, You'll be like, oh, okay, okay. You see, all these, all these concepts are connected together. Because realistically, all of these, all of these functions that they have implemented that they give us, all of those use all of that. They all use arrays. They all use strings. They all use integers. They all use booleans as true or false. So it's not just here. We've been seeing it, and all of everything else in the movement, in the display, in the sensors. We've been seeing all of this, you know. So none of all of this. All of this is merged together. All of this is related together. It's not just like, oh, you know, one day you wake up and it's like, okay, everything's different. No, they're all related. Everything, everything in programming is logic. Everything. And it's super powerful. Super powerful. And then, so mod is it's like math, you know? So you were just like five, one, two, and then round. For example, if you were to put like 1.3, 1.5, 1.6, all that would do, it would just round it, either up or down, you know? Because realistically, what this would round it down, if I'm, if my knowledge is correct from before, how I've been interacting with programming, a lot of them, if as if it's longer, if it's, as you guys know, if it's 1.5, it's gonna round it up. If it's 1.5 and less, it's just gonna round it down. So if it's less than 1.5, it's gonna round it down. So if it's like 1.3, it's just gonna be one. If it's 1.6, it's gonna be two, you know? So, cause that's how rounding works. And then as well, you could just like do math here, you know, like the tangent, the length, the log, the E, the sine, the square root, the floor, all of this, you know? So you have very options cause you might, sometimes you might have, you might need to take the square root or something. So all of these tools are kind of really powerful, you know? So remember, all of this is just logic and math. That's all programming is, when you really think about it. It's all just logic and math. So you might sometimes look at this and be like, oh, this is kind of intimidating, but, but look at it and just take it slow. It's like, okay, what is this returning? Because I feel like the thing that people most get stuck on is that they don't know what things are returning. All of these things, it's not magic. All of these return values. Like these return a true or a false, you see? False, you see? Like it just, you could click on it and see, you see? True, obviously it would be true if you were to put something on there, but it's false because you I don't have anything, you know? So think about it as that. You see, you could see all of the statements here. You see two, obviously zero, you know? Like, before clicking on it, you could be like, okay, you see? So it returns the values, as I told you guys, you know? As I told you guys. Like, I promise you guys, I am not lying to you guys. <laughs> so you guys can see all of this, and it's really powerful. So I would really encourage you guys to use it. 
and just like really 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 like understand what it returns how the values work what was the difference just between like like getting a value and getting like a boolean back like a true or a false so all of this is really powerful so remember to go check this out go over the video again if you have to but really understand the concept that what these return what they are because if you don't understand the concept when you're programming it's going to be really hard it's going to be really hard to understand the sensors. It's going to be really hard to understand everything else. So I would really encourage you guys to go back and analyze that. But saying that, that's all I have for operators. So if you guys want to see this more, remember to go go look at the live demo of this. Me actually programming and implementing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you guys actually learned something. And thank you for watching.